So if it has happened in the past and it's going to happen again, if it is consistent and it happens almost every other time and it's worth talking about, we all look at it in hindsight. Right there is the thought that is in my head at the moment. Coming back to sit in my favorite chair, there's no UB today and it's all love. Welcome to another edition of the Hindsight Podcast. We're ready. We're ready, we're ready, we're ready, we're excited. It's, it's, it's good to be back. It's good to see you guys. It's good to know that you're in good health. It's good to know that you've been consistently buzzing in our DMs, on the Instagram feeds, on the YouTube feeds. It's absolutely amazing. And it's a good feel to be back. The guys are looking all sharp and ready for this one. Um, across me is, you play game again. <laughs> Why you they check phone? See how you they check phone? You no, they check phone. Uh, yeah, you they expect a lot. You go check phone. Oh, oh well. Oh well. Uh, you don't enter. You never. Oh, okay. You no go enter. <laughs> <laughs> I I reject it in Jesus' name. Amen. Die of prayer. I reject. Yes. Okay. Like only Rufai was popping, my brother. I'm good, but you know, I celebrate grace. That was a very. That was a solid. You know. Make you uh, know. Uh, make intro. you know. Go white mm. woman like this. Mm. So. You, go, you go agree everything. <laughs> I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Eyes on the ball. Eyes on the ball. Heaven is the goal. You see, you see, in in your bong is going to be a very good politician. No, I, I here's why. no chance. Here's why. Um, maybe not on the long run, but on you know, the short maybe term. Maybe no go offend God. Maybe no go off- I no go offend God. That one is sure. <laughs> <laughs> so Inyo Bong came late to the production today. Mm. And uh, Alakuna had already told Inyo Bong to buy Sprite when he com- when he's coming. Did he, uh, he, don't, he don't collect money. Yeah, we don't mind that. If I wish, like that. <laughs> Guys, as Inyo Bong entered the studio, you know, we just took that Sprite. And yeah, he wants to come for my chest. <laughs> just, <laughs> and I ain't take, don't, don't talk. talk about saying uh, come Don't talk. No, don't stick. And for me, he say, come to shake me, my brother, my brother. I'm not your brother. You came late. <laughs> you came late. <laughs> you know, the way where you then link this thing up. Who, who is your bro? Now so politicians, they do. Yes, sir. You don't want me to talk. No, yeah, yeah, no, no. Just come. Just give you. Just give you. Just give you. You know, rich me, child. Yeah, and that's election is in 2023. Avoid uh, politicians like any. <laughs> Hands up. <laughs> Avoid Apologies, like gentlemen. gentlemen. Yes, yes, yes. It's good to see you again. Good yeah, great, yeah, great, great. How great is the missus see. doing? Yeah, she's fantastic. Fantastic. She, she owes us, she owes us like, a, like, a, like, and I don't call her that, Bono. No, 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 now, now, you be my brother. <laughs> Look, I tell you, you my brother that now. Fact, that mm-hmm. fact, that your yes. bug never make her come out. Mm-hmm. Mm. Because now, you know, the wife, you go down, arrange her fang. Make everything just set. Make boys call collector. Stumbling block. You don't go chop her. Stumbling block. <laughs> you don't go chop her. The hindrance. <laughs> on no your stumbling block. I know which I go. No shout, out, shout out to Mrs. Through. Mrs. 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 Um, in your bong, Mrs. M.M. Monday, thank you so much for being outstanding, for taking care of him. He's, he's always looking very well fed and well put together. He's a gentleman. And a shout out to you. Please help us. <laughs> help us with Afan. Yes, he likes violence. He needs There's to increase his body full of He likes violence, but hey, help us with Afan. Me too, I'm here. Seeking for one. Hungry speaking boys. of Yes, we agree. <laughs> we agree. Well, speaking of hungry and speaking of um, Mrs., shout out to the man who will be off the market <laughs> very very soon yeah. you already know who already is off the market you already know <laughs> who is currently who sorry, is ladies. currently you already who is know currently sorry ladies sorry <laughs> yep, yep. who is currently currently undergoing what every marriage should want to go yeah. you know getting to know each other and stuff right i think it's called counseling mm. um shout out to you Emeka, for making the bold step man congratulations my Thank man you. You. A round of applause a round of applause yeah. round of applause people, people like revising the reason of another seven years round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah I, so please that, wait <laughs> no 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 quiet silence everybody please take that thing back <laughs> See the reason, like another seven years. So, so take, wait, guys, uh, take it back. You know, okay, wait, wait. I take it back. Maybe Five another years. four. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I go even come meet you. Just wait first. I'll just calm down. You go come meet you. I break fast. Shout out to Chioma. That's the name. Yeah, right. Chioma, um, yeah. Shout out to yeah. Chioma. Big Thank you so you, much. Uh, big shout out to you, my lady, for agreeing to marry this gentleman. Yeah. The marriage will be filled with so much bliss and joy. So, January, we count Does down. Does she watch football? I, I took her to the Arsenal game actually a few weeks yeah. ago when yeah. I was in London, nice. and that was a, that, that might have been a very big mistake on my part because she now <laughs> she is now like cel- like wishing like them to win. Like, oh, oh, no, no, and you no, can no. see my jersey right yeah, now. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. So that smart was a, that smart might have been, girl. That might yes. have been a big you mistake. Smart, yes. 
you know, make sure she doesn't watch any any, <coughs> any football, any football for a while, for a while, and then take then that to the refresh in the yes. game that you get in the game that will win. Maybe Europa, <laughs> ah, maybe that cause... one Europa that will win. Well, yeah, I, I like that yeah, team. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think there's I... more going on. So that you don't watch, if you are in the same place, so that you, she doesn't watch it, mm. go and watch it somewhere else. Yeah. Mm. You get yes. you start her the game uh, for yes. the while, yes. and then take her to the United States. That might have been, mm. a, might be the big mistake on mm. my part. <laughs> Spirit and body God do not direct that you, lady you. I... to the Emirates. <laughs> 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 I'm about to see you yeah, yeah, So shout out to you. <laughs> we hope you're watching. Um, we absolutely love you. So January, we turn it up. The yeah. Inside Podcast where we'll be there to celebrate one of our own Shoma. Um, one of the things. Um, Emeka said earlier. Yeah, you know, about the, I know they forget, Baba. Mm-hmm. About the marriage was the fact that they are going through counseling. Yeah. <laughs> Some people on this table, <laughs> guys, that's when it's time for them to marry. No, it's just I'm just they saying. They will go to make I talk. No, now. Nah, nah, I mean they drag you show. Mike, Mike, so that you don't want Baba. So that we don't misrepresent. Mike, Mike one, Baba. The said integrity. You guys here. My God. Oh, what I said. Some of some people here on this table, we can't mention name, mm-hmm. <laughs> but some people here on this table. They will go through therapy. <laughs> they will go to counseling. And possibly rehabilitation. <laughs> rehabilitation. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Problem. Problem. <laughs> after, <laughs> after, <laughs> after rehabilitation. Serious rehabilitation. In it, after rehabilitation, after because there will still be fragments, <laughs> just a little bit minuscule of some of the things there. I, I have no Deliverance idea. Deliverance will cleanse them. I have no idea. Proper cleansing. I have. I have. You, if you notice, I didn't mention names. Then. No, 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 no. I'm just saying. I just uh, say, you don't need to say. I'm just saying. If you, you know, mention it, any, any names, it's, it's what you said is actually very key. Very key. You understand? Because very when key. you when you make those kind of decisions, yes, you have to understand very clearly what works for you. Mm. Of course, you understand. Mm. You know, and when you understand clearly what works for you, mm. you understand what you need before you. St- you know, go you know the interesting the, thing about this. I'm just saying on it. You know when they say, you know when they say that. Of course, when, when I, they say, I agree with Im- you. Imagine brother. a chicken seeing a, a cockerel <laughs> eating eating onions. <laughs> Do you know what's right? going on? That means that it's already it's already cooking itself. <laughs> Even before <laughs> die come. I did not mention anybody's name. Did I? <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> Pete Doche, 1855. <laughs> chicken where they chop <laughs> onion. If they put your own ingredients down mm. for body. Mm. <laughs> I know even talk anything, but now you don't need to analyze which side you talk. I'm just saying. It's now. fine, my good brother. Get, right, get so it. we jump right into it. It's good to be back. It's good to be back on this grind. This particular award winning table of men, men with testicular fortitude <laughs> and women with class and guile like never before. And we thank you. The truth is, this show is absolutely nothing without your support, without your love, without your banter, without the fact that we know that every time we put it out, you guys receive it in love. And in absolute respect for what we do here, and sometimes violence. <laughs> yes, a lot of you violence. You don't for bus stop. Raise your car. A, lo- a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of violence. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Right. So we're going to it. Uh, it's a football show, but on this day we try to do it different. We start differently because it just came to my mind. I was telling my brother Lakunle earlier. Maybe she's the greatest there is, was, and ever will be, but it's a very football field week we've had. But it will also be. A, a crime for us not to mention the greatness called Serena Williams. Yeah, I totally agree. Absolutely. Um, yes, the answer what a human is, being. What a human being. What a human being. What a legend. What an icon. It hurts that she really couldn't go past, yeah. mm. you know, that. But again, I mean, no, you it must, doesn't. Well, true. It doesn't. <laughs> no, true, no true. you know, you know, as a fan, as a fan, you, you want mean, them for. Are you a right? fan? Are you a fan of the game or a fan of Serena? No, I'm a fan of the game okay. and a, a fan of Serena as well. And I think that people do not realize the the proportion of what Serena has done for black sports, mm. not just tennis. You know, for black people in sports. You know. To be at that level for this long, you know, you know, you've got to mention Venus as well. They've been able to, to give an identity, you know, in terms of you know representing black people in sports. And never mind tennis, because I think she's the greatest um, tennis player, male or female. I think she's mm-hmm. been absolutely incredible. What she's able to do, she's been able to do for 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 all these years is just unbelievable. Because when you look at the rest of the young. Americans, you know, who are coming through, black Americans who are coming through tennis, you know, Sloan Stevens, uh, Coco Golf, they look up to her. They look yeah. at her and see, this is the direction. This is where we'll go. And you see 
you know, from an ex African extraction. Um, what's her name now? The the Tunisian Ons Jaboa. Mm. You look at her. These are people who look up to Serena and Definitely. say, if Serena has done this and I stayed can. this, you know, relevant. influential and so relevant in in tennis for these long, we can do it. So for 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 Serena, I think yeah. it's a swan song that is great. And she she hasn't talked about retirement. She's talking about evolution. You know. Stepping away from tennis, you know, but still staying relevant in sports, maybe investing in sports in some capacity, but unbelievable player. And I, I, unbelievable me, I, human being. I think the biggest credit I would, I would give to, you know, Serena, and not just Serena, Venus as well. If you've seen the, the movie about them. Yeah, the yeah. Movie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Will Smith. Yeah, Ruby was mentioning that. Yeah, if you've King, seen, Richard. King Richard. If you've seen the movie, I think that, you know, the movie. Obviously, there will be part of it maybe that was that, that's fiction or whatever, but it basically just said how they came up. So, despite the fact there was a lot of things happening around them, you know, it was in the projects, there were so many things going on, people in the streets, drugs, da, 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 all those things. Their, their parents saw a clear path mm. that they wanted them to go through. Mm. And you have to understand that when you have when you have a child that's coming up, that's growing, it gets to a point where maybe when they are still very young, you have some sort of control, but it gets to a point where your control be, your control begins to diminish. Mm. And they can basically, I mean, you have kids that would decide, look, what you are trying to make me do is like a bondage yeah. for me. Mm. So I would rather go do this. So my biggest credit for them is that despite everything that's going on, you know, they stayed on that path. And, and it's remarkable that you are able to do, I, I think the last time, I don't know if we've seen a lot of it, I think the, the the other one I can remember now talking about someone that has been on the on one path since you know being a child it has to be Michael Jackson. Mm. Now the difference with Michael Jackson was that Michael Jackson was a was a superstar at age five, six, seven, there about already. Ten, already performing like a absolute like an absolute superstar. But what I'm saying is on that same path from being a child, yeah. that's the same path you go through till so I think that's my biggest credit for them, you know. I think I who? Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods, okay. Anyway. Yeah, America. I think for me, yeah, and the guys have covered it. Um, I think for me, the, the, culturally, what she means. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't probably go as far as any saying she's the, the best male or female. I would still put <laughs> um, the, the top three monsters, Nadal, Federer, and Djokovic, because they had to compete against their, themselves mm -hmm. for the whole time. Mm -hmm. But Serena, like, the competition was, she's, she's incredible, but the competition that she faced, I wouldn't say... Was as tough as the men, as the but men. Forget, forget forgetting about that culturally, what she has meant to tennis, like like Ini said, she 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 opened up a whole new world for a yeah. lot of people. Yeah. And what's the guy in the semifinals now? And the, there's an American guy in the semifinal. I, I forget his name. What's his thing? But he also said it as well that the impact of Serena. He even wore a Serena shirt Serena. in the press in the press in yeah in the press conference. So I think culturally, what she's meant to sports as a whole, uh, I don't think it can be overstated. I think she's definitely one of the top sports people of all time in any sport. You do yeah. know that one of the things I actually wanted to mention was what you mentioned about that level of competition. There will be many Martina Ingis. Yeah. There will be many um, Kivitova, Sharapova, Navratilova. Navratilova, all the lovers, you know. There will be many of those, right? There will be many Sloan Stevens, but there they will they may genuinely never be any other Serena Williams. It will yeah. be difficult. Yeah, it will be. That, that longevity, <clears throat> that... That even, even, even that the sheer, story where they came from, everything they, you 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 almost will never find another one. Yeah, so. yeah. And then that the thing she achieved, the f consistency and being number one over yeah. the years, yeah. the number of Grand Slam with the number of ATP she's won. She she won four Olympic gold medals. Mm. What that yeah. means is that you're around for sixteen years. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We, we, we just, yeah, exactly. Just put it there. Just put it out there. If you four win go four gold, gold medals, medals, that means you're around for sixteen, 16 years. years. That's why the That's likes of quite a long time. It indeed, indeed. That's why I respect these ladies, these super faculty ladies, or no maybe, right? Or no maybe. I think yeah. she been to five World Cups as well, there about. It's a lot. That's a indeed. lot. That's, indeed. that's twenty years. That's four by the way, but let's go ahead. Okay, four, four, four. <laughs> <laughs> Rufai, I blame you. I blame, I blame you. I blame you because this Wale didn't used to be like this. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Wale. The Wale didn't used to be like this. We don't spoil Wale. So, 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 so four Olympic medals, 23 Grand Slams, 14 Grand Slam double titles. Only tennis player to achieve the career gold in Grand Slam in both singles and doubles. Joint longest run as the number one ranked female player. Step forward. Serena <laughs> Williams. Myth 
woman brand legend. Sure. So yes, woman yes. god. Woman God, yeah, yeah, woman God. I like when you say that. Woman God. <laughs> with a small G, woman man, God. Man. Yeah, with a small yeah, G, yeah. woman God. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So let us let us put it down there because you may hear this. You know the way this this boy said, uh, "No, be everybody then call." Yeah, no, be yeah. everybody. Yeah. Call let's just let's just see how this um, make we know if any good thing happened. And he was on his way to the <laughs> studio today, and when you come to this place where we are in Cloud, there's a place where you submit your, I think. Um, visa application or passport or something, and so he saw a lot of people there. The cab driver bringing in, he now said, "Bro, see a lot of people won't leave this country. People took plenty for this country, ah, to survive for this Nigeria, eh? to make serious money for Nigeria. You must offend God." <laughs> and the man said it with a very straight face. But yeah, think about it. You really, you mostly will offend God. Well, I, I don't. Want, I, <coughs> let, let's continue with, <laughs> with the show know, because make, make we talk football, bro. You get make we just because make we don't go enter politics. Because well, that's how I was jogging in the morning yesterday. Yeah, and this guy stops me, drives the fine fine Benz, you know. So the guy stops. Ah, Benz is a fine car. Why, mm. why do I need to add for fine to Benz? Driving a Benz. Mm. So he stops me and say hi in the middle of the road. Hi, I watched the podcast. You know, great stuff you guys are doing, and I, I felt really good. I continued my jogging. I felt like a superstar. Now, this thing where you all carry us go talk now. Maybe go talk something where we say they go stop us for road trip. Make me beat this boy. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let let let's get it going. Now speaking of beating, right? Um the last thing Wale posted, one of the edits from the show was when Prophet IBK Sports. Yeah. Mm, you know, said <laughs> that uh, uh, either Tosho or Toko Lampard. or Lampard will be sacked. And I said, we said no to Toko yet. But you said if he had been Abramovich, he would have been sacked. And then we also thought that Lampard would not even last four weeks. Mm. <laughs> it's amazing how Lampard was able to beat at Thomas last. Tuchel at last. <laughs> what I, did, I, I didn't know that uh, I didn't know, I I didn't know that uh, Todd Bully had a whisper now. Mm. Mm. Uh, Abramovich was whispering in his head. <laughs> yeah. I have a friend, right? Abby, Abby McBenzie. If he feels, he feels that in a way, we are still uh, Abramovich's spirit is hovering mm. around Chelsea. <laughs> Maybe still the one giving them signs, but let's just jump right into it. You spent over two hundred million pounds in the transfer window, <coughs> maybe three hundred in a way. Mm -hmm. You brought some genuinely quality players: mm. Kulibali, Kukureya, um, Raheem Sterling, Wesley Fofana, and Raheem Sterling for me is still one of the most underrated players in the history of football. Yeah, He's I think gem. so too. His numbers are amazing: triple figures, numbers, goals, and assists. That's a player that you can literally build your team on, right? And then six days after transfer window. His team plays against Dynamo, Dynamo Zagreb. Um, he lost. So now my question, guys, is the question on everybody's mind. But we are very privileged to talk about it at this level. And every Chelsea fan is looking for where to pour that anger and just say, yes, good decision. Oh, no, bad decision. But we are privileged. So let's, let's use this time and feed, you know, our, many of our millions of our listeners, right? Was it a good decision? Six days after the transfer window ends, it was time for the project. The reason why I bring these players in, it was time for me to start using them and manifest. Is it good? Or on the background of the poor run of, play, run of results, poor patterns, his first 50 was worse than his last 50 because he celebrated 100 games as Chelsea coach. His last 50 was worse than his first 50. I beg your pardon. The last 50 <clears throat> was worse than the first 50. 50 I did here. <laughs> right? Was it a good decision? I'm going to start... With the maker. And this is where I want you to go. Yeah. I want everybody to pour their thoughts yeah. and then we take it one after the other. Then we even start putting it and putting it out. Right. Emeka, you you're a neutral. Yeah. You're a Man United fan. Yeah, no, but I, I'm we'll very see. objective. Yeah, yeah, I'm no, very, no, no. When I mean neutral, I'm very, very, very objective. <laughs> when, when they, we'll if they mention, if side. they mention Arsenal now, your yes. objectivity will go out of that door. <laughs> <laughs> You will go out of that door. That's my we guy. Are, we don't we like that. Like <laughs> we still talk <laughs> about it, but we still talk about United, you know, and how we are breaking hearts, right? But we'll talk about how Crystal Palace how, do the lot work this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> how Thomas, how Thomas, Thomas Tuchel, <laughs> yeah. how he went from being the darling to <laughs> the one that really raised a lot of doubts at Chelsea. Okay, so to start with, just to break it down, I would say I don't, I don't believe it's a good decision at all. I'm not a Chelsea fan, so I know emotionally how how things might have felt for them might be different from how I saw it from the outside. Mm. But 
I feel there's definitely an element of being spoilt now with Chelsea. They, they're now, with, since Abramovich came, and obviously he's left now, but they're very expectant. So I've spoken to Chelsea fans and they're like, okay, he lost the two cup finals last year. Things have been going a bit worse and worse. But I looked at it statistically, points-wise, from when he came to now, in first 50 to last 50, like if you look at the, the results, mm. the results are not that much worse. The difference is Chelsea have considered about 30 more goals in the last 50 than the first 50. So it's been a bit more shaky defensively. But results-wise, the difference has not been as much as you would think. If you look at the one and a half, two years he's been there, because he only started half a season, then yeah. he played the full season, then he's been sacked. Chelsea, I promise you, whoever they bring in now, which it looks like Potter, I promise you in two years... Potter is not going to do as well as Tuchel has done. He's not going to win a Champions League, a Super Cup, a uh, what else was the, um, Super Cup, um, Club World Cup. Cup yeah. He's not going to get to two. He, uh, got to two finals. Yes, he lost the finals on penalties to arguably the best team in one season of all time. That Liverpool team last year was one of the best teams you ever see. One time season. he lost. He lost two finals to them on penalties. This season he's played five games in the league. One, two, fair. It's been a tricky start. I think it was a bad decision. First of all, Potter is a downgrade. He's he's a good manager. Potential. We all thought David Moyes had potential. You, you, you don't you don't know how these things translate into when a it bigger comes to potential. Into you, can, a, you can hardly tell. Into a, exactly into a bigger into a bigger team with a different setup with a new owner that is still trying to find his feet. I think it was very hasty. You gave him three hundred million pounds, three hundred million euros to spend. He spent it on players that match that formation. I think, Boli. I think Boli, he's. You can see with some of the decisions, even some of his signings, I feel he's still finding his feet. Yeah. He's lost Czech, he's lost Granaskaya, he's still finding his feet. So I, I, don't, I don't believe it was the right decision. Mm. But I know Chelsea fans might have a different opinion because they, they could see the style of football was a bit, was deteriorating and was very, very boring. Now and I can give, watching Chelsea games are extremely uninspiring to watch. But I feel I like you, you, give, you, you, you give them a bit more time because in, in two years, you can't do better than what he has done. If you actually think about it, you cannot do better because Man City... Especially Man City, you're not going to come, you're not going to win the league. Potter's are not going to win the league in, in this year or next year. So if you, win, if you give Chelsea fans two-year spell, Champions League, get to finals, Club World Cup, Super Cup, I think, I think, I think you have to give him time the, to... The, to, the, to I've heard it vehemently. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. He has Rufa, a, he has Rufa, a, Rufa, Rufa is the, Rufa has a stick at this club, so let so him he, not speak. No, 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 let he, me speak first. Okay. Before you bring your... You did, you did tell boys, make boys okay, shut up just, now. Just hold on, guys. <laughs> Emeka makes a very good point. And there's no guarantee with Potter, clearly. <laughs> there's no guarantee with Potter. I don't think he comes in and wins the league, you know. But what I think Potter can do in the next few weeks is stability. Now, I always think that before you fire a manager, you know, because we're not inside. We are not inside the club, you know. Before a management wake up and say... Were taking this decision of relieving the manager of his duty, they would have sensed that there is a breakdown of communication or relationship between the players and the manager. Mm. And once that happens, which is what I think, I think from outside looking in, the players are not doing enough. I don't think they're doing enough. And the only reason they may not be doing enough is that maybe they are not in sync with the manager. They're not quite liking what the manager is doing. Tuchel is a great manager. He's a really smart guy. Mm. But he's been caught up with this purist, idealistic way of approaching football matches. Well, can I ask you a question to, on Please your do. point? So you said that they might not be playing for the manager, ask, doing what he's asking. But so he, I, I didn't say okay, that. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't say okay, that but because that's he, a stupid thing he's to not, say. Okay, he, he said he might not be doing enough. He, he don't not doing they, enough. They're not doing enough. Okay, yeah. my point is like, okay, so last year he came he came third in the league. Mm. Like you said, he got to two finals. Third in the league was the best Chelsea could do last year. Yeah, of course. Man City and Liverpool were way ahead. Of so course. he did the best he could do. The cup finals, I understand. Okay, maybe he should have Unlocking. won one. Unlocking. Should have won one, but he lost to Got cheated in the first one. On the other side, exactly. Lukaku scored a legendary goal. So if it's just five games this season, how can we come to that conclusion? Yeah, exactly. Now, now, question your question. Why do you think that third in the league was the best that he could have done last season? Because look, again, we, we saw that, that was, this was the, the standard best, Liverpool. This was the best, no, I agree with that because the, the standard Liverpool the standard of Man, time. Man City and Liverpool set last season was so almost it was, it almost okay, you so, know peerless. So 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 again another question. So are you saying that player for player Liverpool Man City were better than Chelsea? Yes, for yes. sure, hundred percent. Yes, okay, no question. So Moving so on. so so. While I agree with Emeka that it's hasty to fire a manager after five, six games, 
I also think that sometimes you can look at situations and say, and you might be wrong, the management might be wrong, they might be right, but you look at situations and say, it can get worse. I remember a few years ago at, at, at Arsenal with Una Emery, you know, you know, the, the board allowed Una Emery a couple of months when they should have fired him a month earlier. Why? Mm. Because you could see with the from face value that the players were absolutely in a very bad place. And the manager and looked clueless at the time. They left him on Arsenal kept losing games. Arsenal kept losing. And that, what 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 that hap when that happens, it's going to get bad or worse. And that's what it looks like with the Chelsea team because Chelsea are a very solid team, you know. On their day, they would give anybody in world football a run for their money. Mm. Uh, excuse me, can I, can I? No, no, you? hold on. Now, the management have looked at there and say, said, you know, and people need to realize Tuku wasn't fired because they lost to Dinamo Zagreb. He wasn't fired because they lost to Southampton or Leeds United. Mm. It's been a culmination of the performances. Chelsea haven't won a game this season that you looked at there and said, wow, they really deserved it. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not a single game. Mm -hmm. they, they beat Everton. Everton could have gotten something out of it. They beat West Ham. West Ham were unfortunate not to get it. Spurs so, was a really good performance. You know, the only performance they had this season that was really good was against Spurs. And you could tie that to, oh, it's a derby. The players were self-motivated. They needed to perform. So it's been a combination of very poor performances and if the manager comes out, came out against Southampton and said, we look really soft, we look really easy to play against, comes out after the game against Dinamo Zagreb, you know, laying the blame on the players, not taking responsibility for any of those things. I just feel like maybe it's not a great decision, but it's a decision that is necessary for the team, to, for a manager to come in, give them a new sense of direction, bring a new energy, and let's see where it goes from there. I, I, think, if you, I think if you look on the surface of it, mm. it feels like it's a, it's a, it's a senseless decision, mm. decision. It feels like it's a, it's a harsh decision. But I think it is harsh, go, by the way. I think mm -hmm. harsh more than senseless. Not senseless, but it's not harsh. It's, it's, not, it's not harsh. I, it I is harsh. Uh, like, uh, it, uh, is it your harsh? You don't say it's harsh. Yeah, you say it's you know how much you're paying these people? Which one is, is harsh? <laughs> 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 they sack you. They pay you a lot of money. Mm -hmm. That they sack you. You say it's harsh. If they tell you that money, they fight. <laughs> what did they find? <laughs> he wants to no, coach. No, he, eh? he wants to <laughs> coach. <laughs> Team no day for Jamie. Under 19 and under 15 no day for Jamie. He wants coach. Reports say that he was actually begging. Like he was begging Bully like to give him a chance. I don't of think, course. I don't no, think he, he wants cares to about stay. the severance. He, he, he knows that the guy who fight doesn't know. He, he fight things his money. He for. doesn't. See, nothing <laughs> consign me where anybody <laughs> talk. If you want coach, if you want your brother, if, you'll be happy. If the thing go gone, huh? you will owe you, you yeah. not to coach. Yeah. The best place to coach <laughs> now that is. You, <laughs> you, you, your ideas. <laughs> you teach them and they will forever worship you. <laughs> if what they do, you not to coach. Go there. You say no, they find money. But moving on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, person. Moving on. <laughs> Think that. See, eh, the same way you said you can tie the good performance against Tottenham to the play. It was a derby. The players were self motivated. You can tie the same thing you can say about the Champions League he won. Mm. Go and look at the records. Every time Chelsea has fired a manager and a new manager has come in, they always had a good run. Yeah. The new manager bounced in was very used with Chelsea. They fired Villas Boas. Di Matteo came in and won the Champions League. Mm. The following season, he was third on the table when he was fired. I was fired in October or so. Bro, I was so angry when Di Matteo was fired because this guy was third on the league. And then the 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 the, the yeah. mind game started with Ferguson. And Ferguson, you know what? Ferguson Ababa, he did what he did, mm. and the guy lost it. Whatever. So what I'm saying is, if you look deeply into Chelsea, into Tuchel's time at Chelsea. The worries, the problems that have that are in the team this season have been there since he took over. If you remember, even when they won the Champions League, there was that conversation about Chelsea not creating enough, mm. Chelsea not yeah. killing off games. Mm. That conversation was there. So you had 18 months and what 18 days, and you still couldn't solve the problem of not creating chances, despite the fact that they gave you free hand and even to when spend they, even, over 200 million pounds. And even when they were creating those chances in, in this when, when he came early, even when they were creating those chances, Timo Werner was very wasteful in I'm front going of there, Bourne. I'm going there, Ini. I'm going there, yeah. I'm going there. Because that's why I said if you look deeply into Tuchel's time at Chelsea, the decision to fire him is on point. I said it before now. I said if it was Abramovich, 
he probably would have been fired before the start of this new season. Now, new now, season. now, is that it? Now, is that it? Let, me, let me just a question in your question. Just like you said earlier, I don't even know if that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> now, is that like a Chelsea model now? No, so no we can't. We can, has he no, always no, no, been no, no, a model? That's a Chelsea no, no. model, it's, right? It's, it has not always been a Chelsea model. Abramovich came and said, this is the direction I want to go. I want to win. Yes. And if you cannot win, yes. we will shove you can aside. I, can, I, can I say something? Can right. I say something? Go ahead. You look at Klopp. Mm. At, 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 Liverpool. at Liverpool, except for Guardiola. Every time they give a, a manager a long time to build, the club doesn't spend so much money immediately. Mm. They plug holes gradually. Bits and pieces. But when you find a club owner that allows you to go into the transfer market, you go 200 million pounds, almost 300 million pounds, 150 million pounds. If you're a sensible coach, you know that it is also a setup. Because yeah. if you don't do well after spending this much money, You'll you don't have fine. any excuse. Of course. And Abraham Grant <clears throat> said it when he was with Chelsea. He said Abramovich does something. When you when he brings in a new coach, he go ask you, what do you need? <laughs> this is what you want to do. <laughs> he doesn't set the blueprint for you. Set he up. brings in a new coach. This is how you want to play. What do you need? They give you everything that you need. When you don't succeed, you're out. Simple. They let you know that the money is not a problem. The money that they will use to pay you off when they sack you also is not a problem. <laughs> because you They let sacked. you know that. <clears throat> so, now back to Tukel. See, for me, I think Tukel should have been fired because of the football, but I don't think they fired him 100% because of the football. And what I mean is, remember when Boli came in and, you know, we said, why are you, why are you letting... Peter Cech go. Yeah, let, Granit him, yeah. let these people remain, at least manage things before, you know, you brought yourself in, you bring in a new sporting director, but it felt like, you look, we're, we're clearing out, Bruce Bok left as well, we're clearing out, yeah. we're bringing in a new regime. Now, Tukel also said before he was fired, the moment Peter Cech left, <laughs> Peter Cech wasn't a boardroom worker, yeah. he was a day-to-day, he was involved guy. in the day-to-day -day activities of Chelsea. Even on the he training was, ground. Even on the training it. ground. Yeah. He was training with the goalkeepers, for example. Yeah. So, he was the link between Tukel and the players, Tukel and the managers, the manager. He was the link. He was involved in the day to day. When 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 Peter Cech left, Tuchel was saddled with the responsibility to have conversations with the owner and direct conversations with the players. So even when they were going to recruit, he was the one that was in direct meetings with the owners about the recruitment. So he had a lot of control with the players that he brought in. Managers cry out for that. You understand? Absolutely. So when they give you all of this, then you now start hearing reports about communication broke down. He was not really talking to the players. And I'm still talking, I'm still coming to a part of the relationship with the players. Communication broke down. He was not really talking to the players. Communication broke down also with the owners. I think you have to take all that with a pinch of salt, man. Any <laughs> anytime the teams are struggling, they always that always now, comes. That was, that's what they always no, say. No, but, 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 but you know, but you know truth in is, football. In, no, no, in I'm football. Saying, in football said it himself. And, that's what and, I'm saying. Before he got and, fired. And Rufai, sorry for cutting you short. I've been around Aqua United before. Yeah. When a particular manager, and I'm not going to mention names, you know, things were really bad with the team. I know the media officer, the former media officer, we're talking. And he would tell me things in confidence. These players don't like the guy. Yeah. They don't like the manager. They say the manager talks down on them. Mm. And while I, I look at that and say, you know, sometimes the manager tries to get a reaction from the players. You know, players receive information in different ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that feeling of players are being disgruntled with the manager, in a way, it affects the performances on the pitch. Mm -hmm. And once there's a breakdown in communication between the players and the manager, you cannot allow the manager go on. You, it is impossible. You know, you know, no you, know, being a no, no, you, know yeah. you know where I agree. You know where I will be, I'm always on the side of the manager. When I see that the manager picks players on merit, yeah, and the players don't accept it, I'm on the side of the manager. Of course, one hundred. And that's where I'm going with Tukel. One hundred percent. Tukel has made it clear that he has his favorites, irrespective of the performance. Which, which, I which said is it, ridiculous. I said it during the Champions League winning run. Timo Werner was playing and was horrible, was missing so many chances. Tuchel used the headline of he fits my system the most and kept the most prolific goal scorer that Chelsea Tamir had at Brown. the time on the bench. At the end of the season, even though Tammy Brown didn't play most a of lot the, of the games, games under, under Tuchel, Tuchel yeah. he was still number one or number two top goal scorer at the end of the season. That was how much 
he scored before Tuchel came and kept how on the bench. You, how do you expect Tamir Brown players? Tamir didn't make the starting eleven. How do you expect players Look, to be happy Tamir Brown didn't when make the starting eleven like of semi-final against yeah. Madrid and the final. He wasn't on the bench. He didn't make the, the team 18, list. Yeah. He didn't make it at all. And Tammy said it when he moved to Roma. He said, we will finish training. You know, I would have scored two, three goals. And on the match day, I'm, I, I, I don't make the team. I'm wondering what's going on. If I'm not doing what the manager said I should do, the manager will tell me that's not... This is what I want you to do. Mm. But I finished training. In my head, I have my teammates telling me, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I scored two, three goals. I'm a goal scorer at the end of the day. And then I see someone playing, and I, t- I told you, or was it UB? I told I said, in the heart of heart of ZH, he's looking like Kai Havertz. I said, this guy cannot time. I sabi play ball past this guy. Mm-hmm. And it's a different thing if Kai Havertz is performing, then I know that it's a competition between me and Kai Havertz. Mm-hmm. When it goes to a point of, it doesn't matter what I do, the coach won't play me. There's a problem. Serious problem. And you can't let a manager uh, go on so my, like my that. My question to you guys, when did, when did this disgruntlement start? Because at the end of last season, we didn't hear any, any disgruntlement. No, so no, but that, can't, you can't hear. Did you hear the example I made? It yeah, no, I, been I, there I, since. I did, but like, my point is, so now is now... Oh, he won that. the Champions League. When the manager yeah, is winning, you won't hear all these things. Yeah, of course. But that was a year and a half, 18 months ago, whatever it was. But I'm saying, so last last season, why didn't... most? Chelsea fans were happy with Tuchel. Uh, most Chelsea fans. Me, me. No, when, <laughs> when, when, is it, when we're talking on this. Issue, okay, I, uh, I, 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 I didn't speak. I didn't put me but, aside. But, <laughs> but, I, but that's the reality. So my point is now, after five games, everybody disgruntled. No, you know, after no, five no, no, games. No, no. But, okay, but can I ask you, if, if Chelsea had had a better start to the season, mm. would, would all these with all these stories have come? Emeka, out? Emeka, Emeka. Even when Chelsea won the Champions League, mm. I've never been. Uh, no, Wait, I've, I've never I've been in media. I'm talking about the media If you were a player, if you were a player, no, I guess his point completely because when you see the treatments of like Pulisic, Zayech, you can see that when those guys come on, they have no hunger because they been, they've been completely ostracized. Yes. So I completely understand that, right? So that is a that is a, that is a completely fair point in terms of why some players will be unhappy and all these tensions in, in the dressing room. That's completely fine. I get that. But my, my, my own problem is when does when you said like okay when players are grown to the manager has to go. My my problem with that is then there's no point ever having a manager or being a manager mm-hmm. because every every time there's an when, issue, when, when every player, time every time no, no, I, no, every time there's an issue, that. then no, no, it's no, like no, no, you no, don't no, no, in, in, in. when players are disgruntled. And they have a fair reason for no, being disgruntled. Every, every player, but one thing, every man, Tuka is not the first person to. No, Tuka is not the first person that feels like okay, Abraham, you, you you might you might be playing better in training. You might you might be doing whatever. But I want to pick this player. So like he's not the no, first. No, no, no. Uh, so they're always going to be players. They're always going to be players. We don't say We don't. We don't. We don't. No, 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 it doesn't matter what you say as a coach. Say my system, this, my system, mm. that, my system, that. You play a striker that is obviously struggling, missing one on ones and missing empty nets over a striker that is scoring. It can never, you can never make it make sense. But it's not Forget it's whatever not, it's you say. It's not the first. Uh, it's not the first. Mention another. Well, I think, well, I think well, one, of the, one of the one of the players one of the, that okay, managers finish. managers have every manager have, who have done it managers have, have faced the, the consequence. Managers managers have have when 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 AVB came and said. I will play Anelka over Didi Drogba. Mm. He faced the consequences. It's simple as that. Every manager that has done it. Because whether you like it or not, this system, system that you are shouting, you will only be able to get away with it if that system produces results. To be very honest, guys, we've I think we've we've flogged and flogged and flogged. That's why I just kept quiet. But let me just show you one or two things. And I think let me just watch just one or two things, you know, Kune said. As a neutral fan, because I I think everybody on this table is is special because I don't think we are just football fans. Yeah. I think we watch football because we love football. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's why sometimes when I see some comment on Twitter, I don't even answer the person. I'm just like, you think everybody, because I'm a Man United fan, you think that's all I watch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, we watch football because we love football. We are one of those guys that if... If old New World boys and Boca Juniors are playing, we will watch. Yeah. Well, yeah, because we watch football. We watch football. Chippa United Golden Arrows. You will watch <laughs> football. <laughs> Zesco. You will watch it because you, watch, you like the sports. We watch football. So, so if you watch that's football, football they won't die. exactly. If you watch football, you understand that it is not by by following a team, right? I watched Chelsea towards the end of last season, and I think one of their standard players who keeps playing. Behind the striker, that's if I tell even functions well there, is missing mount. Yeah. And the boy does not create nothing. The boy is the boy knows how to score. I like him. It's like a lampard, right? He, he has that eye for goal. Mm. Oh, like he wants to score. He, he can shoot. But he just don't know how to create. No magic. No, nothing. Nothing. So he now you won't punch me. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> so <laughs> so he now stays in that position and then I saw Akim Zayek in in our in, in, in yeah. Ajax. At the peak of his power, that boy could play anywhere across. Across. I don't know what happened to him at Chelsea. And then still on that still on that Chelsea team. Did they no vex? I thank yes. God. I thank Ben God you. Go ahead. See, no vex. <laughs> See, I don't know if Wale can find the clip. I said it preseason or last week or uh, last season. I said, see, when you have, you know, a coach that says, this is how I want to play, mm. irrespective of what the results is <laughs> saying. For example, right, you know, you ha- your team is struggling to create. You keep your most, whether you like it or not, going forward, your most yeah. creative Ziyech. player Ziyech. going forward is Ziyech. It's like in Ziyech. It very is correct. because your team is not creating. And that's what we're saying, Emeka. It's a different thing if the manager says, this is how I want to play. And he's everything is going well. He's, mm-hmm. You, you yeah, can see yeah, that, yeah, you know. Yeah, this is a, yeah. Tukel yeah. says, Tukel says, this is, look, it was because he didn't start the season well that was why he went and got Obama Yang. Yeah. What he said initially was, We can compete with this group, I don't need a striker. In fact, the reason he went and signed Sterling is because he didn't want to play with a striker. So, what I'm saying is. Tukel has come into a league and has completely ignored what is obtainable in the league. You know, you have some of the best managers around the world come to the Premier League and say, see, the Premier League is very physical. Look at what Pep Guardiola is doing with Haaland. Haaland has come. Before the game, the, the, the season started, everybody said, you know, Haaland will have to adapt to how City That's plays. That's what Pep said. You know, he said he, he, said said he, has, Pep he, has, said he has, has to adapt, adapt to the way we play. Look at what they are doing now. He They've told the media players. one thing. He told the media one thing, and clearly, doing, clearly the way Man City plays, Pep told Man City players the different thing. Because first game of the season against West Ham, when Phil Foden is in and around the box, mm. he's looking for triangles, he's looking for mm. one-twos to but, play. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, That's how what he does. Goes. Yeah. Phil Foden gets on the edge of the box, around the box, gets his head up, where is Haaland, clips the ball in. Clips the ball in. Now, clearly, and Haaland will score. That, he, do you understand where I'm going? Players don't go to the pitch and play football the way they want to play. You play the way Pep wants you did to you play. See, did you see the If goal, you don't play, Pep will take you out. He'll yeah. take you out. Did you see the goal Haaland scored by the, the side of the second point where he just starts in? Mm, yeah. The pass came to the brother. Mm. He took one touch and whipped it. Simple. One touch. When Lukaku was at Chelsea, if Lukaku doesn't start... If he wants to bring Lukaku, he either takes off his James or Hakim Ziyech is not on the bed, on, on, in the game. And those are the people that will create so some chances. So, my point is, you have come to the Premier League, you have ignored, you see the, the, some of the best managers come to the Premier League, they tell you, we understand that the Premier League is very physical. Can I remember when Pep Guardiola first came, there was a game he played, I think it was Crystal Palace on the way, the, the game was 5-4 or something. And of the nine goals, about seven or eight were scored from corners or from set pieces. And Pep said, this only happens in the Premier League. What, what you have to understand is that this is what is obtainable here. If mm. you go to Germany or La Liga, okay, this is... These are the flare. challenges. These are the... Mm. You know, so you come to the Premier League and you say you are going to play You are going to play as a number nine with Kai Havertz. So if a Man City with Pep can bring in Haaland and say, this is, ha- this is his strength. We are going to give him because this is what he does. We are going to give him what he needs to put the ball in the back of the net. I, 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 I think I, Chelsea I watched, fans... Yeah, I think Chelsea... Right. It's just a very short point. I think Chelsea fans... Just watch. You guys, you guys, Tuchel has gone, Not right? Me, oh, look this Tuchel way. Tuchel has gone. Look this way. Just watch. Like, I feel like I said, Chelsea fans, like the Chelsea fans I spoke to earlier, they were saying, okay, you lost the finals, the style of play. Mm. And, I, and I completely understand the style of play because it's very boring. But <laughs> Potter as well is a very heavy possession five at the back coach. Last last season, Brighton fans were booing, booing the team because they weren't scoring and creating enough. They were defensively solid, very possession heavy, but they weren't scoring enough. I know there were times also where they created a lot of chances. But I'm telling you, like, just be careful watch Mitch for. You don't understand. Because yeah. Potter, Potter, no, but Potter is going to have his favorites as well. They are going to be players that are ostracized because he doesn't pick them. And lastly, the biggest point, there are two games every week till the World Cup. Mm. You are not going to every... Uh, one, one training day, one rest day match. One training day, one rest day match. He's not going to even have time to implement anything. No, no, but no, that's no, why no, no, you, no. That's but, why but, you but, have but, a depth but, in but, 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 Emeka, you have to understand. I don't... Me, personally, I'm not talking about Chelsea fans. Eh? Me, Ola <laughs> When they fire a manager... Understand what I'm saying. At that level, see a Graham Potter coming into Chelsea. If you are a coach, you your ambition is you want to coach at the top. Mm-hmm. So people can say Graham Potter. Be, money now. 
People can no. It concerns people. Can say, people can say. People can say. Uh, the, 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 the pay, my Listen, uh, people can say. People can say. Grand Potter, it will be a mistake to take this job. Da, 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 da. But if you're a manager, you aspire to go there. Of course, of course, of course. Right. Oh. And you also know that if you go to Chelsea and they fire you, your stock doesn't come down. Mm. You are bright in any way. If you go to Chelsea and you get fired, your stock doesn't come down. Except your name so, is only. So exactly. So nobody, I don't see nobody. They find only. So I don't see the. I don't see the <laughs> downside from you Graham. Chomp, you don't chop straight bullet. So I don't see the. I don't see the loss. I don't see the loss for Graham Potter taking the job. Now on the other side for Chelsea, for Chelsea fans, you look. I've always said it. If you are a coach and you go, at, you go there. If you, once you, 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 the thing you not do, you are out of the door. Do you know how many people? I told you, I was very angry when they fired Di Matteo. But at the end of the day, it is what is obtainable at that level. Once you go there, you be like, say, you said you don't the move. Mm. Get okay. out. But, right. but let's 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 just roll it in now. Yeah. What what is wrong? <laughs> Why? Why do we already think Grand Potter is the man? I don't what think is, Grand Potter is what the is, man. What is no, no, no. What I mean by is the man for this job right now is mm. nobody's even mentioning Mauricio Pochettino. Yeah, no, no, no. no, 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 no. They, they, I think tacti- tactically, mm. that just the easiest one tactically. First of all, because the system, because Chelsea has spent two hundred million on defenders. Mm-hmm. So when you when you already start that way, my issue at first was like, how do you spend so much on defenders and you you get someone that plays for at the back? And you have two 60 million pound left backs. Mm. You have Fofana, Kulibali, Tiago Silva, all these guys just for two center back spaces. Mm-hmm. Rich James as a right back. But like now, because um, Potter also plays five at the back. So, first of all, that's already a seamless transition. So, mm-hmm. you have the amount of defenders formation necessary. Wise, set formation wise. wise, already. And of course, again, in, in football, there's a lot of buzz. Like, Potter is the in yeah, guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's the in guy Especially right now. In England. in England, he's the mm. in guy right true, now. True. And Pochettino, his stock has gone down after PSG. Yeah. Especially when you now see how Gatier in PSG is playing with yeah. those same players. Yeah. So I think I think when you look at those two things, I think that's a and a first first way to see why he's there. If it's Moritz, if it's Pochettino and Potter, Potter has not coached at the, at that level. I know. But Pochettino has coached at that level, and I don't agree with, it. and I don't agree with whatever yeah. has gone. Is, is that a factor, though? Sometimes potential is sometimes you know that thing you haven't seen, like the potential here, you think might yeah, be exactly. there. It's better than someone that you know when they talk to you, we first, first, first buy car, and I buy old model. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so is, is, that, is that a jump you can manage? Because now we are not saying. I think one of the biggest problems for United on the long run could be the problem with Grand Porter with Chelsea. I thought. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I believe that quantum leap, not only God bless him, figure mm. <laughs> But in terms of career, there's a career progression. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's what I think. Mm-hmm. This is me personal. This is Baba mm. Guerrero. I think in someone's career, it's only God Almighty that can say, oh, you were here before. Maybe you can't do like 10 years prayer and fasting. You know, God eventually pick your call. You can't jump from zero to hero. Yeah, but that, right. but that's not the case. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is, is this is that jump too much for Ole? It's not for Ole. For Ole, it, it came was, from it came from from, from Moda, Norway, right? It came from Moda, yeah. you know, Manchester United. Mm. Got relegated for, for Graham Porter at, at Cardiff. Ole, Ole had won <laughs> stuff at Moda, even if not Shibi, mm, 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 even mm. if not Spoon. He mm. won, he won the league with them, right? That we were. But yeah, you. but not the thing. <laughs> but the thing is. Grand Potter from Brighton and Oves. Brighton and Oves are new, just newcomers in mm-hmm. Premier League. Mm-hmm. Now they've become a mainstay, right, in recent recent times. It is Chelsea. Slowly, Chelsea has become, they are now become a bone of fish right mm-hmm. here in our truth. Mm-hmm. They're not going anywhere. Mm-hmm. They're not the clubs that didn't achieve anything anymore. Now they've started achieving. Mm-hmm. My question is, would, that, would it maybe like a small, say, Southampton or an Everton or any Leicester, Brendan Rodgers could be out of a job very soon could be a more attractive deal for Grand Potter than Chelsea. That leap, that's my, that's my, it's not a fear, it's not my business. Yeah, yeah. But I, 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 get your, I, I get your point. You know, Brighton and Oves to Chelsea, will it be just what Kune said about the, the new manager balls that comes in and the blah, 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 same transition, mm-hmm. helps them set up, what now happens on the four, four goings? What, 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 with, with Graham Potter, you know, and I, I quite understand, you know, progression and, some of the clubs you've mentioned, maybe Aston Villa, um, maybe Southampton, are more historically the bigger clubs than you know fan base wise. They're bigger clubs than and Brighton. Than Brighton, Brighton is a small club from the south coast of England. But I don't think that when a manager leaves Brighton to Chelsea, it's much of a 
big leap like that because, because Chelsea is a small club. No, Chelsea is not a small okay. club. Come on, that would be disrespectful. Like only when I'm about to play. I mean, they started about twenty years you know, ago. No, but Chelsea have been around for a while. You know, I mean, they won five years. Premier League titles in the past <laughs> twenty years. No, United that's have won in that started. same twenty years. Maybe no, uh, about that same uh, uh-huh. number. Mm-hmm. You know, but in the last... Do you. Wait till you don't stop. <laughs> don't stop. Wait till you don't want me. No, but he's just putting out facts. He's not putting out <laughs> When you... For, for a coach like like Potter, was at Ostersund in Sweden, came to the Premier League with Brighton. It's done a really good job. Indeed. Really good job with Brighton. Because you're... Sometimes you look at things and say, you know, with the lean resources that um, Brighton have got, the, the question, which is where I'm going with what you were saying, would be... How does he manage egos in the dressing room? How many he egos did he have at Brighton? You know, because a few international players mm-hmm. here and there. But when you go to Chelsea, you you are faced with Superstars. really top players. You know, really top players. So how does he manage that ego? Now I will answer that with at Brighton, the players really love him. They really love him because he is a great man manager and he's a coach. Most of these guys are football managers. Graham Potter is a coach. Mm-hmm. He wants to be a coach. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to coach you to play football. Now, I think that is a bit of an advantage on him because he's going to go to the Chelsea team and one of the issues Olakule raised was picking players on merit. I'm not sure Graham Potter is going to go into the dressing room and say, oh, you're my favorite, irrespective of how you play. I think he goes in there because when you look at the Brighton setup, if you're not doing well, you're not playing. Neil Mopé you know, was playing for a long time, stopped scoring goals, pulled him out of the side and you know brought why, the world back. You know why the, 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 the topmost managers still remain the topmost managers? It is simply that the, there's, there's not a single player. I don't know about maybe some other managers, but I'm talking Mourinho, Ancelotti, mm. I think Pep Guardiola, Antonio Conte, the top managers that we can mention. I don't think you Eric find... Hag. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 get that. <laughs> I don't think you'll find a player that will be confident enough to say something like what Eric Bailly said mm. about United yeah. Yeah. with those managers. I don't think you'll find one player. A player can say, you know, the way. Look at Danny Rose and Mourinho at Tottenham. The time has told us the truth. You, even if you have a problem with the coach. You can have a problem with the system of the coach. I say it doesn't suit me. Say, but you can't say that despite the fact that the person that's playing ahead of me is not doing well, and I've been working so hard in training, I still don't get time. Mm. You can't say that with all these top managers. And for me, that's where I put it. If you're a manager, it has to be on merit. John Terry said when Mourinho was coming back to Chelsea, I was having dinner with my family when I got the call. And Jose said... JT, I'm coming back. So I was having a cup of wine. After the call, I stopped drinking that wine. The, my walk, because Jose was coming back, started from that night. So how does Potter... So how do we because know Potter? he knows. Now, I'm using that to talk about Tukel. And to go to Potter, I'm saying, when you come in, you have to understand as a manager that it has to be on merit. You Merit's cannot first. get to the point where in your team... You have players who now believe that it doesn't matter what I do. I will not. I won't get it running. So mm. if you get there, there's a problem. I could still. I could still ask questions like, when I happen to having a a known first eleven? Yeah, but we we've spent over one hour, mm-hmm. and I don't believe I'm on top of this Tokyo matter. No, no, no. Yeah. And, and we know, and we know they share money. But <laughs> just to be clear, so we are moving on. Let's answer your question. We're moving on now. I don't want to answer my question. To your, that, the potter about I don't potter. want to answer my question. Mm. Okay, so we move on. Okay, okay, from potter. We are moving on to everywhere. Okay. Just, okay. To, just to we are marching finish forward. as we are moving on. We are marching <laughs> forward. All right, guys. I'm a man that needs no introduction on this show. It remains the Inside Podcast. Um, you know when it comes to talking sport, when it comes to talking football, all around the world, you get the best information from this particular podcast. You can always join us online. Um, on YouTube, on IG, anywhere online, you can always join. Even on Clubhouse, we're there for you to dish you the best information when it comes to sports all around the world. Stay tuned, always. Cloud. Cloud. Reach out.